Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to set up your paid Facebook ad. To do this, you're going to need to have your ads manager set up already. Please comment below if you like a video on how to set up your ads manager. In this video, I'll show you how to structure and name your ad, how to target and set your location, how to set your budget and ad duration, and where to place your text plus more. So let's dive into it. So to start, let's go to Facebook. So W www.facebook.com or you can do this by clicking on the Facebook logo in the corner if you're already on Facebook and you're not on your home page just like this so now just go to ads scroll down to ads manager right click open link in new tab this will open up your ads manager page click on the correct ads account that you want to use. So to start up your ad, all you're going to need to do is go over to the green create button, click that. Now in this video, we're going to do a lead generation ad. So you're going to click on lead generation. Uh, you can do different ads depending on if you're wanting traffic, engagement, video views, or you want to message them. Now lead generation in my view is the best one. It's the best one to create leads and then contact them later. All right, so this, as you can see, there's three layers of uh, an ad, and that's campaign, ad set, and ad. So let's start with campaign. So usually when we name our campaign, I'll name it with the date backwards, so 21.03.02, so March, and the second day in March, and then the name of the ad. So the name of the campaign so the campaign might be built around your niche so um junior kids something like that so you put it together just to keep it simple keep a nice name a uh, simple naming structure now the best way that i find here is you might have sometimes your campaign budget optimization on and you can set your budget for the whole campaign but the best way that I find is to turn this off because your budget will now be set in the ad set so let's click over to next now the ad set uh, can depend on a few variables but to keep it simple here I'm just going to show you different locations in case you have a few different clubs or locations that you coach from and so what we're going to do here is we're going to call it location one and in there we're going to go plus how far you want your ad to reach outside of your actual location maybe it could be 10 kilometers Right, and the lead method that you want to connect with people will be instant forms. This is the best way to get people to follow up and use their contact details. If you click call, then it takes a little bit longer and you have to rely on people to call you. Now make sure that you have the right Facebook page here. A lot of people can be connected to multiple Facebook pages. We want to run out of the tennis one here. Uh, this is where you can set your daily budget um, some people might have it in the US but that's because when you first set up your ads manager you didn't set it to Australian dollars and there's no way to change it at this stage and your time zone might be different so just try to convert it if it's outside your actual time zone now ads usually run on a minimum budget of 15 to 20 dollars to get any kind of traction and I wouldn't push it any higher unless you knew those ads worked all right so let's just set at $20 start date whenever you want it to start you know I usually set in a few hours in the future or a couple of hours in the future just so it starts nice and smoothly and set any time now I like to set an end date and the end date is you know within one or two weeks so let's choose an end date of the 16th of March and in the middle of the day is usually pretty good but you can set any time you like now creating an audience so let me just show you a simple audience um, based around getting players 
So let's first of all, under locations, make sure that it's set to people living in this location. Otherwise, your ad's going to appear to people who are traveling through the location or whatnot, and they're going to be confused while you're following them up. So down here is the map. So just click off Australia. Let's just choose um, any locations to search. Let's, let's go right in the middle of Sydney, Sydney, New South Wales, and whatever that your naming system says, so 10 kilometers, set that out 10 kilometers down here below on your map. So just click into it. Just change it manually to 10 by like that. Click outside of that or click enter. But we got 17 kilometers, so very touchy. So just make sure it is actually 10 kilometers. Keeps resetting it to 17 for some reason. Uh, possibly because it's within a city. So we'll just leave it at 17 just for demonstration purposes. And then up here, keep your naming system correct. To 17 and we're going to just go parents and in brackets you can go to ages 3 to 17 or whatever your niche is all right just so you know exactly what your ad set's all about when you look at it in the future all right so now age you might want to change age so often a good age for parents is anywhere between uh, 27 and 55 it can go outside that range but on average let's keep it nice and consistent between set 27 and 55 and up here we will just say that as well 20 27 to 55 all right let's keep some space that's okay to have some space in your naming Now the start date's in the past. I am not sure. All right, so the start date. So let's just um, at a time where it's not in the past. All right. Let's scroll down. Every, check everything's right. Peeping, people living in this location, Sydney plus 17 kilometers, age 27 to 55. Both genders. You can set it out just female if you think that's better. Um, I usually keep it at the same. Detail targeting, just to keep it simple, I'm going to show you just you know, type in parents and just click parents three to five. Parents six to eight. Parents with Kids with preteens nine to twelve, and parents you know, just thirteen to seventeen, and you can adjust that anytime you want. You can add other interests that they think these people might be interested in, as well, just to refine your search a little bit. Uh, click, make sure you click this one as well. It helps optimize the ad, um, just in case you're your definition's not working that well. So reach people beyond your detailed targeting selections when it's likely likely to improve performance. Yes, you definitely want this. Now save save your audience to the name that you had before. So let's go up. Select control C or right click copy and go back to save this audience and now it makes sense all right and you can use this audience for any future ads that you like now that it's saved and the other way you can do if you have a different location you'll just go edit and then locate location two change the actual location from Sydney to maybe Brisbane uh, for an example and then update then save as a new one so then you have two audiences click next now this is the actual ad 
Um, so this is the one that we're targeting. So you might have a couple of ads running under the same ad set and the ad, let's name it off what the ad's going to be talking about. So let's talk about um, tennis as the healthiest sport in the world. Healthiest sport. Something like that will get you going. Uh, <clears throat> you can, you might have an Instagram page selected to it, and you can also add, run the ad through Instagram. And you might need to either select one or connect an account. Now, with your ads, just you can choose either. I usually cross there, and I go add media, image, or video. Now let's just choose image for now as an example. And you've got you can upload one, which is on your desktop or anywhere in your computer. You've got account images, which is images that you've already used within your account or previous ads. You've got business images in your business, Instagram images, page images on your Facebook page, business page. Or you can even use stock images that Facebook has. Now with an image, it doesn't have to show exactly what you're trying to sell people in. It's just got to create the attention and it's got to have some kind of connection into your ad copy, which is a text part of your ad. Now that's where we now create the primary text here. Ad copy, so in our ad copy we want a hook. Front story. That that solves a problem and a call to action. Now that's just a really quick brief rundown on how to put your primary text together. I will make further videos on how to do this with a bit more detail in the future. Please comment below if you like a video like that. Now you can write a headline, a quick description, you can display a website, a call to action. This is one's important. Make sure to, make sure you talk about your call to action within your ad. So please click sign up now if you want to get started straight away. The one I like to use is learn more. Please click learn more if you'd like to know more about our program and how it can help you as an example. All right, so we can, we can create a form. Let me use the form that I've already set up and let's duplicate just so we can edit, otherwise I can't show you. So we've got the form name, why is it used? Uh, form type, more volume is important, it's better than high intent for most time, most circumstances. So just leave it at that initially. Intro, use the image from your ad, whatever ad you use, you can use a similar image. Don't worry about having a greeting. Questions, just keep it simple. Um, we'll just a quick description why you're going to use information so we will use your information to let you know about upcoming courses and events just so they know what they're signing up for just keep a simple full name phone number and email any more fields or questions then you're going to get a lower lead conversion because the more effort it takes the more likely you don't want to put all your details down unless you're really keen. So now privacy, you're going to have to have a privacy policy. Um, I can show you more about this later. So basically just create a privacy policy, link it onto your website somewhere, even if no one else sees it, and just upload the link here. You can have a link text as well. And to complete, just say thanks, you're all set as your headline. Your info has been sent to Wherever you, where, whatever um, academy you run or programs, look out for our follow-up email and text. Reply to either email or text asking for a phone call if you like. Call business, so you've got a call to action, you've got a call business. You can view website or download a PDF um, and just put your phone number there. All right, so I usually click publish, but because this form is already created, I'm just going to close it. Now you can have other things like pixels, which I can also show you on another video. But most of all, usually you're just going to have it off until you have a Facebook pixel set up. 
and just to run your ad, all you have to do is here is click publish. All right, and then your ad's gonna load into three sections and then it's gonna go into a review. And if you've done it all nice and correct and followed the Facebook's policy, it's gonna run the ad. All right, and then. Uh, now that you know how to set up your first Facebook ad, that's the start and the sky's the limit. If you'd like us to help you set up your first ad to grow your programs or have any specific questions, please comment below or send us a message. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.